Hello, good afternoon, everyone. Hopefully that you are doing fine in this pandemic time. Right, so welcome back to my lesson. Let me introduce myself. My name is Dewi Nadita, and then you can call me Dewi or Dita. Well, today I'd like to share about um, small talks in business English. How to start a conversation with a new stranger. Oh yeah, uh, let me tell you one thing. I made this video special for Lingua. Right, so let me share this screen first. Right, so as you, as we all know, English has become widely used across the globe for business and international commerce language environments. Moreover, international and multinational business companies tend to grow during this past few years, especially in our country, Indonesia. Today, I'd like to share my language knowledge, as I have mentioned to you, um, especially for business English. And then thank you for joining me and welcome. Okay, uh, the aims of uh, learning how to start a conversation. We have um, two aims here. The first is to introduce um, how to introduce uh, yourself you know, with your new partner and getting to know each other and then ice breaking. And then the second is simulation. And you will be asked uh, to make your own um, dialogue regarding the topic. Right, so let's get started. First is small talk. This is small talk. It's your strategy to introduce yourself and engage with your new colleagues, partners, uh, or clients. Um, sometimes that we are really worried if we meet a stranger or people from offices for the first time. And I'll tell you how here. Okay. Peter Manis, a cinematographer, says, unimportant details can pave or open the way to close relationships. So what does it mean? Uh, so let's take a quick quiz. Um, right, I will describe here. Small talk describes the conversations you have when you are not talking business. It is the conversations before meeting in the start restaurant or around the water cooler. Okay, and here I've got eight questions for you. Uh, you can just talk to yourself. Uh, do you agree or disagree with these statements or not? If you are agree, you take yes. If you are not agree, you say no. Uh, but I don't want to make any judgment here. I just want to know uh, uh, your. I just want to know your. Uh, you you are uh, talking with yourself. Uh, how how good I am maybe in 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 my own language or or how open I am. Uh, if I meet the first time with people, right? So here's I've got number one. I'm good at small talk in my own language. You can say yes or no, and then the second. I'm good at small talk in English. Yeah, you can say yes, or maybe you can say just uh, no, yeah. So it depends on you. And number three, I think the social aspect of doing business is very important. Okay, so uh, ask yourself. Number four, I think small talk wastes time before and in meetings. I prefer to get down to business straight away. To get down to business means that you want to start a business right away without uh, making any small talks. Yeah. Number five, I enjoy talking to people outside business meetings. Okay. 
Number six, I prefer listening and observing to talking. This is, uh, you can make your, um, your own measurement. I mean, am I the one who really, really like to observe? Or am I the one who uh, really like to know everything from the people that we are talking to? Okay, number seven, I find it difficult to choose things to talk about when socializing in English. Okay, if you find it so, you just can take yes, yeah. Number eight, I know what to talk about and what not to talk about when socializing in English. This is uh, your questionnaires. You need to ask yourself. And once again, this is not your, I mean, that this is not for your judge judgment. I mean, not, this is not to judge you this this uh how you talk with other people all this time okay so i will tell you uh how this is uh you need to uh what is it make like uh break the ice okay but uh break the ice this is uh foremost in an international conference or workshop uh, I know that's uh, starting a conversation with a stranger and then keep it going for those important fi first five minutes. It's really hard. Yeah. And I've got a questionnaires as well here. And then you need, again, to ask yourself, uh, you decide to attend an international conference. You have never attended such an event before. What is your main reason for attending? You need to ask yourself, choose one option. The first, I'm going to attend lots of presentations so I can keep up to date with developments in my industry. Second, I'm hoping to meet lots of interesting people. Maybe some of them will be useful for my future career. So if that's your purpose, you can choose B. And then see, I have a target of 20 people that I want to meet so I can persuade them to buy our products. Yeah, if you intend to buy a product, you can choose this one, see, but I strongly recommend that uh, you that don't choose the C because this is your first time uh, meeting a stranger or new client, you just can talk about your uh, position, your jobs in more detail, what you do, make them more curious about uh, your company first. Don't try to sell your products in the very beginning or in the first meeting. Okay. And then the second questionnaire is um, uh, on the first evening, you attend a welcome party. You arrive in a large hall, hall filled with about 500 people. They all seem to be talking to each other in groups. There is nobody that you recognize. What do you do? First, go up to one of the groups, introduce yourself, and ask if you can join them. B, Go up to one of the groups and listen to the conversation. Maybe you can join in later. C. Find where the food is being served and try to start a conversation with someone in the queue. D. Walk around the hall, pretending to be looking for someone. Avoid eye contact with other people. And E. Turn around and go home. Okay, so this is one, two, three, four, five out of five choices which one would you choose so back again it depends on your uh where is it yourself your character yeah okay there are so many uh options here you can choose right so we can move to next at the conference party which of these problems would be worse for you first no one wants to talk to you. Second, a really boring person wants to talk to you and you can't escape from him or her. 
cases, this is the second question. Which one is your option? Maybe you just can think it would be worse for you. The next one is which topics of conversation could you use to break the ice with someone? To break the ice means that you need to uh, approach smoothly to open a conversation. Okay, number one, how much you hate parties like this? Or B, the conference? Or C, your work? D, sport? E, the weather? F, politics? G, how bad the food is? And H, where you're from? Okay, after you have already done with the last questionnaires, okay, just keep it for the end and then we'll discuss it in the um, questions and answers session. You need to know this one. The aspect you need to notice while you want to make a bond or make a, a friend with a new client or a new colleague from overseas because we uh where is it uh are in different um countries so we have so many uh, things in different yeah and, and maybe some 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 other thing uh we have in common okay right uh, it is important to get to know people personally. This is often the best way to build a good relationship and trust. The best time to do this often outside the meeting. If you want to know them personally, do it over time. I mean, over, not over time, sorry. Uh, outside the meeting, over coffee or meal times. You need yeah, to ch chat with them yeah, and uh, try to introduce yourself. Yes. Um, the second, what you talk is important. When you deal with other cultures, there is a danger that you may cause offense. You may say the wrong thing, be too personal, or ask something that is okay in your culture, but not in theirs. And I think you need uh, to make maybe a small research or um, reading much about the culture that you are going uh, to or your, your destination. So what is choose or what is don't, yeah, you need to know this a bit. Do a small research on this. Okay, and then the third, you may ask questions that fit culture stereotypes. You may fix people wrongly in a traditional cultural image that your country has of them. It is important to see the people you deal with as people, not as a representatives of a cultural stereotypes. How can you do this? Well, this is uh, theoretically uh, recognizing different areas of experiences is the best um, choice or is the best way to do that. Yeah. First, you need to know the national, their national experiences. I mean, the country where they come from. Where are you from or where do you come from? This is a phrases or this is some phrases that you can use. The second, regional experiences, the area in the country they come from. You need to, to, to notice the regional experiences as well. The second, professional experiences, the work of study they have done and the organization where they have worked. Social experiences, their experiences of working in different organization. Maybe you can talk with this, yeah. And this, uh, the last one is personal experiences, education and travel, yeah. But you need to notice uh, that in many countries, people prefer not to talk about family and social background for the first time. So that may be too personal for them. So we need to be careful on this. And then instead of um, asking their, about their social status or social background and family, uh, you can 
turn it uh, into sports, weather, uh, families. Yeah, families, you can just adjust it, uh, whether it is polite or not. Yeah, but I suggest not to talk about families for the first time you meet in business purpose. Okay. Um, it is uh, worth it. You need to avoid the ice makers, the ice makers that like politics, yeah, families, or um, the conversation or the topic that makes the the, the talks stop or oh, oh oh no I I shouldn't have thought like this or I I shouldn't have asked like this so it will make you regret event uh, at 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 last yeah okay um how do we start this is practical you can use open question. Yes, you need to compare these two approaches. I give you two dialogues and then you need to compare this. The first dialogue, this one, okay. Okay, let me um, try to uh, run this dialogue. You only have met this person. Hello, are you from this area? Uh, yes. Do you work? In one of the large from around Manheim? Uh, no, I don't. Are you a keen sportsman? Yes, I am. Oh, uh, really? Do you jog? No, I don't. So this is the first one. And then we move to the second one. All right, so my slice is not moving. But... Okay, sometimes happen, but this. Okay, wait. Okay, we continue to the dialogue too. And here is the example. Okay, I will run this dialogue. You have just met the people at the cafe. And then you say, oh, that's an unusual badge. May I ask you what it is? Oh, yes, uh, it is a networking badge. A networking badge? What do you mean by networking? Uh, well, we meet regularly every week to discuss how we can help our members to get more customers. Oh, sounds interesting. Oh, please excuse me. I'm John Durbar, or you can say uh, John Durbar. I'm from England originally. Ah, yes, I noticed a slight accent. Uh, I'm Stephen. Pleased to meet you. Pleased to meet you too. Uh, so this kind of example in opening a conversations with a new client or a new colleague. Um. Right, so can you uh, notice the difference? What is the difference or what is make you more comfortable? Is it the first one or is it the second one? Right, so let me tell you, the first one never really got off the ground, it's the dialogue one. Close questions that to tell a conversation. So what do you Seen in the first few slide, dialogue one is the type of plus conversation and it tends to tell um where is it the, the conversation itself. I mean it, it would be stuck. Just only you just can go for that that far. Yeah. Uh and then the second one is more interesting, the dialogue too, because it is the open questions. Uh, this is allowed to, uh, what's it, to have a conversation with partner to speak about his or her networking organization. So uh, the conversations will be flowing, yes, and then maybe will be developed, yeah. OK, 
Okay, uh, when you meet people for the first time, it is important to have a good supply of open questions to ask them. So by practicing the phrases that I've already gave you. Okay, here's another example and I will run the dialogue. This is another example of open question. So you don't care much for cold weather. What is your favorite season? Oh, uh, summer is my favorite time of the year. I really love outdoor sports. Really? So do you like tennis? Oh, yes, I love tennis. I play twice a week. I also watch professional matches on TV. Do you have a favorite professional player? Well, uh, in the men's game, uh, I like Alonso Torres. And in the women's, is, uh, Alicia Simpson is great. Okay, so that's an example. And here's the phrases that you can use to introduce the introductory openers yeah uh you can say oh yeah could you tell me uh i'd be interested to hear about your work could you tell me something about your company oh this is example another example oh, i'd be interested to find out how many people work in your department at the moment so this is the introductory of open questions that you can use and I will tell you where we can make small talks actually in the first time meeting a client greeting business contacts you already know and having meetings I mean before during and after coffee breaks and meals you can do in the middle of that time and talking at a business lunch or dinner Okay, so my note is open questions help the conversation to flow. So this is challenge time for you. I want to challenge you here. You go to an international conference and this is your first time to go there. You go as a representative of your office. In the conference, you need to make a friend and break the ice with other participants who come from around the world. You need to make a dialogue based on the topic we've discussed. You can choose about the weather, hotel, trip, and sports, and then you can practice yourself more with your friends. And happy learning, everyone. Right, so that's all what I can share to you. And then uh, I hope that you, uh, my video can be useful for you or our learning can be uh, fruitful for you and see you next time in my video stay healthy everyone and bye bye